Hi, welcome to another training video, training tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Power BI, this time this is uh, going to be an update from our previous one, which we had a look at RAG status, red, amber, green, they use them for KPIs. Now at the time, those KPIs didn't exist in Power BI, or if they did, I didn't find them. And you know what, that last video is still pretty good, should you want to use some icons that aren't really that aren't available basically. So what do I mean by that? Uh, let's see if we can create something here. Um, what I've got here is I've got three tables. Uh, let me just move by itself out there just to show you here. So I've got these three tables over here. I've got dim date, I've got dim product, and I've got fact internet sales. Again, just like anything, click on the link below and it will take you to where these files are located so you can try them out yourself. All right, so uh, let's, um, I'm just gonna move myself around when I need to, uh, hope that's okay. All right, so what we need to do first, let's just get a matrix up on the screen here uh, and say, for instance, I'm interested in dim products. So I just want to have a little product key and there's loads of products here. So if I can have a name, is there, uh, here we go. I'm going to keep English product name. I could have French, but that's fine. And there's a list of products. Uh, that's it. Let's have a look at my roller and go down and just increase the size. Yeah, there we go. So there's lots of English product names. And so what I'd like to do is just see how much money we've made from each one of those. So I'm just going to create a measure. Uh, what I normally do with my measures is I do a new table. So I'm going to edit data here and then let's edit data at the top. I always do this. Didn't always at start, but now try to do so since I've seen others do so on YouTube, etc. And just in uh, my everyday life. All right, then. So uh, got key measures here. I'm going to right click and click on new, new measure. And again, I'm going to zoom into the top so you can see. So I'm going to call this one total revenue. Revenue. There we go. And it's just going to be an auto sum. And it's going to sum the fact internet sales and then sales amounts. So that's what that is there. Uh, under the modeling tab here at the top, I can click and change the currency or the number to pounds and pence. That's great. So now I can drag that over to the table and I can start seeing what sort of figures I've got there. That's good. So beforehand, if I wanted to do like little rag status, little green circles, etc., I'd have to create a link and I showed you a link to the website. Now, what you can do is in the matrix itself, as I can click on the drop down list, you've got conditional formatting and you have icons there. Oh, I did that rather fast. So let me just do that really slowly for you. I'm just going to zoom in. So over here, values, click on the drop down list, conditional formatting, and then we can go to icons. There we go. Uh, so let me just move around out there. All right. So um, so I've got various icons available there. So we can just decide to just have a percentage. My rules based on total there. So it's left of the data at the moment. I'm going to change it so it's the right of the da data. Uh, middle alignment. So it should align in the middle when we click on OK. Um, so if it's greater than a zero to nearer, sorry, greater than or equal to zero percent, and less than 33, we're going to get a red, and uh, I think, if I just zoom in a bit, that red circle looks good. That's great. And then let's choose the orange circle, if it's between 33 and 67% of all of them, and then the green if it's great. So click on OK, and eventually that we've got all of these here. If I go down, I can see some of these greens together. We've got the mountain bikes and, you know, others and road bikes, etc. Uh, yeah, that's good. Now, this should take into account filters as well. So if I just add in a slicer, say here, uh, I've got product here, but let's say if we add in one for uh, a date. So um, let's just add in a slicer here. Where's my slicer? There we go. And then go to dim dates. And then let's add in our financial year here. There we go. So we've got lots of different financial years. Oh, they've got lots of repeated ones there because, it's because the data is absolutely massive with this. Um, yeah, what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to choose another option. So if I go to dim product, um, and then I will, there should be a product subcategory key. Is that one there? There. We'll talk about relating that table. There we go. So if I click on that, we can see how it all works with the subcategory. There we go with the vests and how that works there. Yeah. Great. So there we go. So we've got these ones here. Absolutely fantastic. You can use the rag icons as well. If you want to get a bit more specific, if you're looking for figures, um, you can see if there's anything over a million pounds, etc. Let's just move myself out of the way here. Then you can go back to your rag icons just at the bottom here. Uh, let's have a look here. Icons here. 
and move this around this is what i've chosen uh, so let's have a look here so if the value is uh, greater than or equal to uh, let's change that to a number and then this number here will be so i'm going to have a look at these figures here okay so let's say between zero as a number and i'll change this number and let's say um one hundred thousand one hundred then it's red and then the number here if it's one hundred thousand and one up to let's say a million there we go make sure it's a number uh, then it's a, and then if the number is i put this in just a number here is greater than equal to um, one million and one one million and one excellent okay uh and 100 percent. let's say it's green uh, let's just give this one a quick go move myself out of the way here uh, and you can see the figures yeah that's good i suppose a better way of doing this as well is having the low figures at zero percent and this so if i said went back and changed this going to the icons this was my icons here there we go additional formatting icons so if i change the number from zero to zero percent it's going to pick up all the numbers that are zero percent as well which is probably a better way of doing that so i don't need to worry if i get a number that's below zero or minus or whatever it'll just take the lowest number and there we go i've got them all together and i can see all of my details there i might want to filter them out i don't have any product category tables but i could have always added them in that'd be great excellent so thank you very much for watching if you've got anything out of this then please uh give it a uh, um a thumbs up please subscribe as well this is just a tip of the iceberg when it comes to the traffic lights i don't know if you notice here under the conditional formatting you've got font colors background colors icons data bars in fact under the background color here you've got lots of options here so keep a subscribe so you can see more videos about how you come to use uh, this as well and if you haven't already done so please go to the website computertutoring.co.uk have a look at our power bi courses on each one of those a link to a shared power bi dashboard so you can really show your boss or show whoever you know yourself what you can do with power bi thank you very much for watching